Good morning, everyone. This is Becky here at Aunt Bex Creations. We've got some shadows we've got to deal with, of course. Always shadows. The shadows, right? Is that going to be better? Let's see. I'm still going to have shadows. I guess it's just the wrong time of day. We'll watch the sun come up over here. Um, we are going to do a prompt game on... The five by seven, uh, these things that I picked up at the thrift store the other day, canvas panel. So we're going to do a prop game on a canvas panel. I need to watch some videos on lighting so I can figure this out better. But <laughs> I'll get there eventually, one day maybe. So we're going to do a prop game. And what I did is... This deck is a lot bigger than this. What I did is I pulled prompts that would work on this panel. And the idea for this panel is um, Peg Robinson and I are going to do a trial run at this. And then if it works good, um, either she or I will maybe have a, a set up a, a swap of sorts with it. I told you it was cold out there, didn't I? Okay, I hope that's all the cat herding that's going to be done this morning. Um, and let me back up a little bit and tell you why I'm actually here when I said I wasn't going to be here. I'm actually here because I called the phone number um, to the courthouse yesterday while we were over at Scott's mom's because I pulled my summons out of my purse and it said to call this number. And so I called the number and they said, if you were summons for the week of um, March 25th, uh, they said, you're free. Uh, they settled all the, all of the cases that were scheduled for this week were settled out of court. So I didn't have to go. So yay, I'm here. Good morning, Mary. Good morning, Ann. So we're going to try this. Um, I'm going to mail this to Peg, just like this. I did pull the label off, and I'm going to put a piece of that sticker paper I have on the back with some additional glue along the edges, like Yes Paste. And then I'll put, like, like it's a postcard. I'll do that on the back of it, and I'll take it to the post office and get them to tell me how much it's going to cost me to mail it. And um, I'll keep track of that so I can let you all know. And then Peg's going to send me one as well. And we'll see if it works. If it works, I think this could be fun. And I know Peg's been working on some panels too. Um, if you don't have these, like I, I got these, this whole great big stack of two, four, two, four, six. There were seven of them together. And I think I paid $3. Um, always check your thrift stores for something like this because you just never know. All right. So I have the prompts here. And what I was saying about these is I pulled the ones that would work best for this project. So there's a variety and some wild cards. I think there's two wild cards in here. So we're just going to get going and start playing. Morning, Kimberly. And I saw Cheryl. Happy birthday to Anne. Happy birthday to Anne. Yay, it's Anne's birthday. All right. All right. Got my little piece of paper over to the side so I can write these down. So the first prompt says, use the color yellow. Okay. I'm just gonna, on here, I'm just going to write yellow. So I guess I'll... I'm going to paint this whole thing yellow. How about that? I think I'll just get a, a scraper and just scrape some yellow on here. This will be very springy using yellow if I can find some yellow. I got to clean these cards. I've just been throwing things on top. Not a good idea. Put things back where you get them. Don't, don't create problems for yourself. Picked up more picture frames yesterday at the thrift store um, so I can hang some more art. Scott says he really likes seeing everybody's art on the wall. So 
So I'm just going to put some yellow on here. Oh, and I did gesso this, too, with black gesso. My friend that used to be a, a police officer in Columbia, I, I posted a picture of this venue that's in Columbia. It's like 701 Watling or something like that. And um, it's a really cool old like trade center building. And the last time I was in it, I had gone to see an art installation. It was very much like you were walking amongst a Borg cube. It was kind of scary and creepy. And this guy, he makes robots that look like humans, um, figures, and he uses things he's found, like hubcaps and that kind of thing, but they look so lifelike, and they were all in their own little stanchions, just like on a Borg ship. But anyway, back to my friend, she said she was directing traffic at that intersection and the church that's right across from it got struck by lightning while she was standing there directing traffic talk about scare the hoo-hoo out of you yes the moon is amazing i went out and um helped scott get in the car this morning all right now it's saying use purple so we've used yellow and we're going to use some purple So I've got some purple. Let's see, how do we want to put this purple down? Uh, I'm going to grab something out of my bin of stuff and I'll get a sponge and purple. I'm just going to sponge a little purple on this lid and then put it down. It's Cold and Rainy by Mary. It's clear and chilly here. Uh, we'll see if the sun actually makes it up out. And see, I'm just going to tap this on here. I didn't get enough paint. Let me get some more paint. I always worry that I'm going to get too much out and then I don't get enough. Because you, you also got to take into account the uh, sponge is going to, it's going to hold on to something too. It's kind of greedy that way. That looks pretty cool. I have another panel next to me. I could put this purple on. I might just put the purple on this one here. This one's not, the gesso isn't quite dry, but this will give me somewhere to go and I'll have another panel started. So this is just like a, for cleanup. That'll work out good. Even if it's not totally dry. Yeah, give me a head start on another one. How cool would it be to send pieces of art through the mail just like this? Not in an envelope, just like this. I think it could be fun. Risky, but fun. I just figure any marks that the post office could add will just add more character to it. I'm not going to worry about um, if it gets damaged or not. All right, let's see. I'm 
I want to get out and hide my fabric bundles. Oh, outside. I forgot. <laughs> Hi, Heather. Uh, I've been called and served on three or four. Um, one for the city, one or two for magistrate's court, which is just county traffic. And then um, one at the huge courthouse where I was going to go. When you get called to the one at the big courthouse, it's usually you are called in for like um, major crimes, like injury to a child, tra a bad traffic accident that ended in death um, and that kind of thing. And what they do is they pull you in for the whole week's worth of trial. So the, they might have three on the docket and you might get pulled for the first one or you might have to go back and go back until they seat the jury for all three. Um, so, yeah, I was kind of excited that I didn't have to go today. All right. Quit fiddling, Becky. Draw another card. Make marks with something recycled, which I just did. <laughs> Make marks. With something. Recycled. That doesn't look right, but well, I could use this, the side of it, and just roll some color on. That would be using the same thing, but let's see. Uh, something. I'm just trying to think of what color I should use here. I'm going to use a light lavender and roll some things on. So let's see. Let's put oops, this paint. I need to do more of these games or start back to doing an art journal page and use this paint up that I have. I'm going to put out a, I say I'm going to put out a thing. Maybe not. This one might be too far gone. It's really thick. And then we'll just roll this through here. And then roll it on here. That works better. Roll it toward yourself. roll some this way getting control of this lid is something else all right we'll say good enough we'll say good enough all right and that actually added some texture where the uh, yellow wasn't quite dry, which is kind of interesting. Cool. Well, I hope it'll work. And um, I'm going to give it a go and see if it'll try, see how it makes it through. All right, next prompt. Add a focal image. That one I'm going to save. I'll write it as number four, but I'm going to save it. Of course, till the end. Add focal image. I'll write save till end on here. So I'm going to set that over here to the side and we'll pick another card. This one says use stencil. Use a stencil. And I'm only doing 10 prompts, 
We might can do two of these boards. We'll see. Use a stencil. I'm going to grab, just grab one without even looking at it. Close my eyes. Grab a stencil that's here that I've not used yet. Let's see. Ooh. All right, I'm going to use this stencil. And one of you guys, first color that pops up, I'll use. Pick a color, any color. I think this was in a set that Scott got me or somebody got me. But it looks cool. Anybody want to give me a color? Red. All right. We'll use red. Didn't grab a sponge. Durr. Um, lipstick red. Makes me think of Scott when he says, put another coat of lipstick on the pig. <laughs> That's what he says when somebody's trying to pass off like a house that's got major rot and they cover it in uh, vinyl siding. They don't repair the rot. They just cover it. And I just think that's a really horrible thing to do. Oh no, it's not good looking. Oh no. The lipstick on the pig may have to. I don't think this is going to work. It sounds solid in there like it's a Okay, that one I'm just going to pitch in the trash. I'm not even going to mess with it. Let me grab another one. That's what happens when you don't use your stuff. All right, very red sounds like it's more fluid. <laughs> and I'm just going to lay this down. And like so. We'll see what we get here. Hi, Renee. Okay. I need to cook some food and take it to my mother-in-law. Um, it's so hard. She's having such a hard time getting around. We are so fearful. We're going to go over and find she's fallen down all those stern stairs. I really think she needs to be staying or somebody needs to stay with her all the time. Some days I'm more patient than others. It's hard when they start getting where they can't can't do. I'm trying to tone down the yellow and what's happening is I think it's mixing a little bit with the yellow. All right. So we're going to pick this up. Ooh, and I'll put this face down on this other one. Well, almost threw that sponge in my coffee. That wouldn't have been very nice, would it? I'm just going to stamp this stencil off on this other piece. Get a whole different effect. <laughs> I'm just going to throw this stencil since it's brand new. I'm just going to throw it in the sink. Spray it with some water. Excuse me. I got to remember when I'm done here to take my meds because I forgot to do it. 
All right, that looks cool. And then this one where I stamped it off, it's got just a hint of the stencil, which looks cool. All right, next we need our pile of cards and it says yellow plus red equals a coral. Okay, cool. Use Teflon hot pad and a honeycomb shapes. So if you've got something else you could use as a stamp, that would be great. I'm going to have to dig for that honeycomb pattern. Let's see here. Oh, dear. Everything's going to fall now. Oh, that's a big piece. Oh, there's the little piece I want. In my bin, old stuff. I'd like to build a shelf for the end of my table that could hold my pens and things, the pens, and that would clear off the top of one of my carts, and I'd have places for more books, but what I'm thinking is that way I could have the top of this other thing for all my like bins of stuff, put all the brushes and things to make marks with on that one. I'm going to use a turquoise these are there's one's called waterfront the one waterfront might work better because i have more of it and if i spread this out some with a palette knife then i won't have to sponge onto here to get a good print i can just Spread this out. Maybe make some marks on this other panel with the palette knife. That works. Then I can just dip this in. going to let it go. All right. Use blue. It's the next prompt. Seven. So I'll put these prompts in the description box and then that way you can like get them and you can make your own little cards or you can maybe put them, number them on your paper and then get random lists generator or whatever to reorganize them for you. <laughs> I'm going to do 10 prompts. So I'm at prompt seven right now. Let's see. What do I want to do here? It says to use blue. And you don't have to add a bunch of it. We could like get something small and uh, let's see. Let me look at the backs of some of these paint brushes here. Or something. Let's see. 
Oh, I have these nail file or cuticle things that I picked up at the thrift store. They make an interest. You can make two different marks. So on the side that's a cuticle pusher, you can put it down in the paint and pick up and it makes like an oval. Or you can make little tiny dots with that side. So I'm going to put a puddle of this down. That's more than a puddle, but it'll be all right. And we'll spread it out a little bit. And just make some funny marks on here. Now I'll pick some paint up on this. Maybe we can make some squiggly marks with it. Just some little little marks here and there. Then I've got all of that blue. Somebody must be out walking. The neighbor dogs are barking their heads off. There used to be a, when I worked and had to be to work at like 3 a.m., um, there would be a girl out running. And she wouldn't always have reflective gear on. And I'm like, man, if you're, if you're out running at this hour, have something reflective on so I don't nearly hit you. If you're all in dark, I'm not going to be able to see you until it's like too late. All right. I used blue. Ant back, ant back. Let's see. I'm doing 10 prompts. Um, got thrown into two commercials. Oh, dear. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, it is a challenge to limit 10 to 10. I usually do 12. And remember, I'm going to put a focal image on this. So this is just background. This is this is not going to be done when I get to 10 until I've put to gone back and put a focal image on. Drip or splatter with white paint. So your choice, drip or splatter with white paint. All right. Oh, white paint, Howard. Howard said, I'm trying to sleep here. I'm making too much noise. I'll show you my clean off uh, piece here in a minute.
Here's my little book. <laughs> Dee Dee got me started trying to fill in one of these little mini journals that you get at the dollar store. I'll have to pay attention because Dee Dee is on on Mondays. I think I have until 8.30. All right, so there's that. Might have to dry this depending on what number nine is. See, we're already at nine. I do move quickly. Add circles. So we're going to add some more circles, but I'm going to dry this. Add circles. Let's see if the heat gun will reach over here. <sighs> nope, not quite. All right, I'm going to have to hold it in my hand. Right now it looks like a circus gone wrong, if you ask me. I like the, the, the one I'm wiping off and cleaning up with better than this one. I'm seeing a, a hippo in a tutu on this as my focal image. Wouldn't that be a hoot? I was naughty. I ordered some things over the weekend. So I'll have some things to share in a few days. And I Scott, what else do I have to finish today? I've got to finish my granny hexes for this week. And then we're we're going on kind of a pause with Lucas because his mom took a horrible fall. Um, she's broke her arm right below her shoulder joint, and she has a fiscus. And on his video, he talks all about it. But his focus needs to be his mom right now. And we're all like, are you kidding? Don't worry about it. You know, we can crochet anytime. Your mom needs you. <laughs> so I need to make some more circles. I think we need some smaller circles. Or this is a circle, kind of. I don't know if I want to use it, though. Let's see. Let's do... That makes a really fat, huge circle. Ooh, I know. Here. And I'm trying to think what color. I, I, I feel like I've got every color in the book. Let's revisit yellow, but a lighter. A lighter yellow. And I know you guys are probably thinking, oh, this is a hot mess. But anybody that knows me knows that I'll fix it. It won't be a hot mess when I'm done. This is a golden yellow. Let's use the golden yellow. And I've got, I love Frere Rocher's. And Scott gets some for me for almost every holiday. So this was a big tray of Frere Rocher. But look at all these circles I can do. And I'm just going to put some yellow out. No, not like that. That's all my, all the stuff you don't want to come out of your paint globbed out. Don't tell me all this paint has gone sideways. I don't know if this is going to work or not. Let's see if I've shook it enough to get... Well, that's pretty good. So I'm just going to pick a few of these and stamp out some. I 
can't hardly see them, but they're there. Okay. Oh, that's what doesn't look too bad. I don't think I want any of those on that other. But maybe we could put some in the book. I don't know if I can bring it back over here. I'll just plop these on here. I don't clean this thing. I use it mainly on the gel gel board. There we go. And you can see this is, little book is falling all apart. So when I go to use it, I'm going to tape the pages back in. We'll just set that up there and hope Howard doesn't get into it. If anybody knew, Howard is my cat. and He's asleep in a basket right here. He's one of five cats in the house. All right. So I've got the add circles. And the last prompt is add a border. How's that? Add a border. So I'm going to dry this some, and then we got to add a focal image and a border. There we go. Okay, now I'm going to do the, before I do the border, I'm going to add my focal image and I'm going to quickly put on, well, I don't know, we might can do this. I'm going to do the hippo in a tutu, okay? So give me a sec to get some paints and brushes and stuff and I'll, I'm going to do a, a hippo wearing a tutu on here. How random is that? Of course, it has to be a pink tutu. So I'll get two shades of pink there. And then we need, a, a, if I have a gray, a gray, or I need black and white. There's a zinc. get some golden brown too because hippos aren't all just flat gray. So we're going to have this for a paint palette here. And I'll get this one, this one, and something a little bit more pointy with detail. All right. Oh dear. I don't know where that paper came from, but it landed square on there. Oh, before I get going on the hippo, which I'm just going to free do, here's the other canvas. 
That's a good start to something, too. Eight thirty for Dee Dee. It's noon in Switzerland and it's sunny and cold. The sun is just trying to come up here and the sky is like this weird blue gray. So maybe we'll get some rain today. Thank you, Mary, for the thumbs up. Good morning, Janet Nash. We did 10 prompts and I'll put them in the description box after I sign off. Right now, we're going to do a tutu wearing hippo. A hippo wearing a tutu. So let's put some of this zinc out. Got a glob of zinc. And I'm going to put a little white next to that. And a little black. Ew, how rude. And some of this that they call golden brown. And this is not going to be a realistic hippo because for crying out loud, it's wearing a tutu, okay? And this has got one of those goobers coming out. All of my paint is really nasty. Oh, well. I got some out there. I'll get some more if I need it. All right. So I'm going to take my biggest brush first. And I have a towel to wipe it off some. And I'm going to mix up, grab some white, and just kind of mix up a little lighter gray here. And let's see, we want her head here. It's going to take a couple coats to cover that background, that's for sure. Okay. And she's going to have one leg where she's up on her toe. I should have put her farther up on the and then this other leg will be back here. And that gets my basic shape in there. That leg's a little too long, but we're going to go for it. I'm going to mail this to Peg Robinson. Uh, we're doing a test to see if this would work. To just mail it just like this. Putting on a little bit darker now. to get that background covered up.
I was going to renew my membership to the local zoo, but I only go once or twice a year and it's just not worth it to me. And I wasn't real pleased with how the changes they've made since the last time I went. So I don't think I'm going to get a membership anymore. Sorry. It's a beautiful zoo. It's just... All the elephants died. And they didn't get any more back in, which is a good thing because elephants don't belong in zoos. But the elephants all had so much character. They still have the rhinos, but they are kind of scary looking. All right. So we're going to have to define her legs a little bit down here. Once I get this base coat good here. Right. And then this is a leg here. One of the things I ordered is um, I ordered some things from Jerry Bellini. She, she has, I'll put a link to her Etsy store if anybody's interested. But she's got these beautiful fiber packs and they're not horribly expensive either. So I ordered one and I know Kathy said she, Kathy Whitney said she ordered a couple and they're beautiful fibers and she's got them in like all the seasons. And uh, the other thing I ordered from her was another book on crocheted flowers. I'm obsessed with crocheted flowers now. So, and I'm thinking if I make them with like four ply, I could take them and just sew them together and make myself a sweater with just different flowers put together. All right, so there's my basic, the basic hippo here. I want to get a smaller brush. And I'm going to lay in some other things here. I want to make just a little bit of really dark. Mixing black with anything, you, you need a whole lot less black than you think you do to change the shade. All right, so under her chin here would be darker. Come back over here and pick some of this up to kind of work out the we're going to pretend there's a light coming down on her at the top here. We'll let that dry some. Oh, let's see. Front of this leg. And maybe some of the darker on her tummy down here. A lot of this will get covered by her tutu, but it'll be all right. I don't usually paint in front of you guys, so it's kind of weird for me. Hi, Kim. Good morning. Oh, you're watching someone make a daisy top? I am just, I want to do, I think they call it free form um, crochet, where you, you just make a bunch of different shapes, like all flowers, or you might want to have some that are just, undescribable just shapes just kind of odd shapes I want to do something like that but I want to finish my afghan I'm doing with Lucas you know first before I start another new project 
None of us are guilty of that, are we? And I have some sewing projects that I want to uh, get to. Uh, Dee and Dory, you know, they do a challenge with each other. They pull it, from, they have a box of challenges. And let's see, the two that I want to do is one yard or less of fabric. So basically take a remnant and make a clothing item from it. So I've got a couple patterns that I found. One's for like, a, I think it's a tank top and one's for a pair of shorts. So I could actually do a two-piece ensemble with two yards. So that's on my list. And the other one they had was um, overlay was the one they pulled yesterday where you put lace over top of something else. So that, that would be something interesting to do. And I do think I need to cook some meals for Scott's mom. She was kind of looking for it yesterday and I didn't, I, I was saving the food in case I needed it for Scott's lunches this week. I could take her some of that. And um, I've got, I guess, a bunch of stuff to get done today. It's sounding like. The more I think about it, the more I need to do that because... For anybody that doesn't know, my husband's mother is 96 years old and still living on her own. And uh, I'm, she's fast approaching. She needs daily help, I think. She said all she does is sit in front of the TV. It's getting harder for her to do, do things. All right, so there's the basic shape of her. Let's see, we need a little bit more of this really dark color here. I want to bring this leg. Actually, it should have been the one in the back got the dark, and this one got the light, now that I'm thinking about it. We need to rinse this off here. There we go. I'm going to turn it toward you guys for a minute. I'm going to do a little dark. And again, I don't know why I'm fussing with this. Because a lot of this I'll have the two-toe, two-two over top of. All right, and then let's put a little of this dark back here on her bottom a little bit. I'm going to mix a little of the brown in because if you look at a hippo, they're really gray and brown.
And I'm just using my memories of looking at hippos. I don't have a, a picture out is what I'm saying. All right, let's go back. Try to lighten that back down some. I'll put little ballet shoes on her. you dreaming about Howie you're okay forgot where I was going with this sorry I get quiet when I'm painting that's why I don't do it live very often I get to concentrating I'll look up here at chat real quick. There's Heather. Hello, Heather. So let's put, I've got dark going everywhere now. I'm going to put a little dark at the back of her head here. Oh, man, the trucks have started on I-77. Surprised y'all don't hear that. Go, 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 of the, of the trucks as they go. Go past. Either heading on up 77 or coming on to 26 West. Got that too light now. I know this looks hilarious right now with the way this is, but wait till I add the details. You'll see. You'll see where I'm going with it. Get a little water to smooth that out. So, all right, that's better. All right. All right, let's start adding a few little details here and there. I picked this brush because it has a nice point to it. Hi, Barbara Chicken Pot Pie. Oh, picked up a lint. Get a little black on the very tip of this. And put our nose right here and then her mouth here and then her little eyes We go. We'll rinse that out. 
I'm going to take her over here and I'll show you. There she is so far. And I think she needs something on here that says dance like no one's watching. That'll be the quote I put on here because I put a quote on all of these things. We need to give her a shadow, too, because right now she looks like she's floating. And I'll wait and do that in a little bit. And I feel like she needs a couple tufts of hair on the top of her head, too. Oh, and toenails. I need to add her toenails. Let's get her dry some. So if I come in with the small brush again and pick up a little black, scoop up some of this brown. Let's give her, her little toenails are like circles. This brush is too big. Hang on. Um, I want more control of this tiny stuff here. I'll take a, a poke, uh, picture of her when I when I get get her done. I could scan her. I don't think they're showing up good enough here. I think I need three toenails, not two. Some of this I might have to come back with like a, a marker or something. Maybe I need to go darker with the toenails. I need something different. There's something. Something's a little something something's a little off here. Let's just try straight up black. Bear with me while I, I sort it out here. Wednesday, we'll work on our boho blocks. And I need to do a standalone video on threading the sewing machine.
right? I want to give her just some Oh my goodness. Oh yeah. That's what she needed. She needed she needed a hair did. Angie had hello Angie. Hi Roy. What if I just put a little dot in the middle of these? Make it look like I should do pink on her on her fingernails. I don't know why I worried about her toes. I'm going to cover those anyway. Don't worry about those. All right. Now the fun part begins. Put out a couple globs of pink. With any luck, I can get this finished and clear coated and I can send it to Peg. Let's take this one and I'm just going to pick up some of this dark pink and just give her a little forgot I was going to put ballet slippers on her. So there's that, and now we need to just kind of lay this in real quick. I'm here I was worried about all that shading and stuff. It's not going to matter now. But that's it, one of those things you learn by doing. Hopefully Peg will get a hoot out of the, this perp tutu wear and hippo. Janet Nash says she'll be right back.
could this not make somebody smile as it's going through the mail, right? I felt like she needed a little bit better strap support there. I mean, she, we don't want her to have any accidents on stage. All right. So let's take some of that. Take a tiny little bit of black. And we'll... Get up under her arm some here. Under her tummy. Pick up some more of this pink. And if you didn't have these like five by side, five by seven panels, I don't see why you couldn't just use a piece of real heavy chipboard. And mail it just like that. I just had picked these up and I thought, oh, I wonder if I could just mail those just like that. Just like that, an idea was sprouted. All right. Okay. I think this all dried up on me. Okay, so now the fun part. Let's give her some. Let's see if I can do this. We need to put, uh, I think those little straps come from the heel of the, the heel of the slipper, right? So this would need to come up like so. And then come around her foot like so. And this one would come around her foot.
and then maybe come back around here. I'm sure this is going way too far up her leg, but it's just a little postcard and you're not going to be able to see the back tie. I want to keep it, keep it thin here. There we go. And now let's just start. I saw the thumbnail of someone of one sewing video asking if it meant a decline in sewing. I don't think so. to turn it so my there we go I was going in the wrong direction for my for my brush strokes that's why I was having trouble Mary's wanting to know if Vicki is still looking for knitting needles. Cindy and I got Vicki hooked up for a little while, I think. But I'll let her answer that. All right, that gives me a, kind of a base to work off from now. That is, I watched some videos on um, what Vicky's plans are for that video, the you know those knitting needles, and the girl I watched, she was putting words on them and everything. It was kind of cool. She had the the letter dies, I guess.
All right. Still want knitting needles, says Vicki. Yeah. And if y'all are talking about Joann's, don't worry about it. I mean, they've been there. They've done this before. They What they do is they, they reformulate. They close stores that aren't, you know, meeting expectations. Um, you know, stores that are failing because they have poor management. If they can't bring in a good manager, they'll just close them. So I, I just, I wouldn't fret too much because they've been around for over 80 years now, I think. And I'm not going to worry about it. I won't worry about it at all. I will say one thing, if anybody from Joann's is, you know, listening, y'all need to up your game in the quality of your fabric. Because quite frankly, since I work there, the quality of the fabric has really gone in the tubes. So you need to reevaluate your suppliers for one thing. And get some quality fabric in there. It's really shoddy. Sorry. I do better finding fabric that people have had in their stash for years and then, and then it's ended up at Goodwill. At least it's quality fabric from years past. But another reason I'm thankful, I have my Joann stash in the back where I work there and most of my paycheck came home in fabric. So I don't necessarily need to buy fabric is what I'm saying. All right, let's bring this back around here. I won't worry about it, not even for a minute. And I also want to say that I agree with my niece that in maybe about maybe another 10 years, there might not even be freestanding stores. It'll all be online. And I agree with Gwen on that one. I'll look at chat again here in a minute. I was telling Rhonda that the patterns I recently thrifted would all work for Project Dress a Girl. So I need to figure out the yardage I need for each one because she had given me a gift certificate gift card from Hobby Lobby. And I when she gets a chance, I know she's busy, but when she gets a chance, we're gonna go to Hobby Lobby together so that she can pick out some fabrics 
and I'll use the gift card for part of it because she wanted to participate in the whole project dress a girl thing. I'll look at chat again here in a sec. Keep trying to figure out what's the best place to set the computer so I can catch chat here easier. Well, every time I try to lift it back up, I take off too much, so. Okay, <laughs> I may have gone too far with the lipstick, but you know. I ought to do one of these and mail it to Barb Owen, too, and see if it makes it through to Barb. All right. So let's go back. Since I got black here, let's do a border. And I'm going to avoid her toe. So I'll just put a little bit just underneath her. And I'm going to do one of those wavy black and white borders because I think they look cool. So 
So I'm just going to put black down and let it dry completely. And then I'll come back with a white Posca and put in white squares. And this way I don't have to worry about a shadow on it. The lipstick is great. Awesome. And I'm going to add uh, with my label maker, dance like no one's watching. I might have to go around this a couple times with the black. I wish I could figure out where to look on these glasses to get into the part where I can actually see good. So. But I think this could be a fun thing to do. I like to think up ways to share art with people. Hence my wall behind me. I picked up a bunch more of the smaller frames because I think I have some pieces. I know I've got some of Mary's art that needs to go in a frame behind me. I just got to locate it. I put it up somewhere safe. Yeah. The paint starting to set up, so I'm trying to trying to use it before it's completely set up. And I'm not worried if something gets on the back because I'm going to put um, some kind of, you know, paper back there. Okay. And I'm going to clear coat this to protect it. I'll use some of that uh, Delta clear something. That clear stuff. But i got to wait for this to dry. I'll put a picture on my community tab when I get it all finished. And I'll probably have it, you know, on Instagram and in my group. And probably art joy of sharing as well. So Peg can see what's headed her way. <laughs> so you can take a background and then just plop a hippo, a pig, or something goofy on the top of it. And you're good. Or, you know, paint a Mona Lisa if you have it in you. I don't have a Mona Lisa in me. So you get a goofy hippo instead. So yeah, this is going to have to dry totally up. This black. And sign and date your work.
no matter what you're doing, you don't care. That's that's a good way to be. All right, let's see. Can I turn her so you guys can see her? It's a little after eight. So there, I got my focal image and my border is started. And I'm going to turn this into one of those black and, black and white checker board type things. And I have every color out of the world here. Um, here's my other little canvas I did just as like having it on the side to wipe. And um, that would be a good idea is if you want to just have uh, another canvas handy that you could do things on or a little journal or even a big journal and just take go to a page and start a background on it. So that is what we did this morning. And I will do um, some big pen work around the hip. Oh. I'll outline and maybe add some squiggles and things like that. And the working out address exchange. So she got it in Messenger, but she can't access it for some reason. Oh, hi, Marty. Good morning. I know the phone drives me mad. Like if I'm trying to rest with my feet up in the recliner and I'll turn the YouTube on Greg's big TV and then I'll have my phone to talk and chat while I'm watching on the TV. And oh, my word, the things that come out of my fingers. It's just. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. She's so light on her feet. <laughs> yes, she is. And I might use Posca and add some more bits to her skirt when it's dry, too. I don't want to ruin the Posca pens. And um, I guess that's it for me this morning. I hope you guys enjoyed the, the doing the prompts on one of my 5 by 7 boards. I might come back. And uh, we'll add something on the black canvas later as another, another video. Oh, that's so cool. Well, it also doesn't help that the phone thinks it knows more than you and changes your words to something that makes your statement mean nothing or something way crazy. Off to walk the doggo. Okay, Heather, have a good day. I'll see you all on Wednesday for our boho block. I've got to work on that some too before then. And um, thanks for being here. Bye, guys.